Akala. So Akala right now um, really has been really, really, really poor price action. Now, the title of this vid will suggest I think this is going to do a lot. I'm not convinced. I think this is the best case scenario. Uh, I want to talk about what really needs to happen for this to kick on um, in terms of price action. A lot of that is going to depend on uh, how they grow the user base as well. Before I get into it though, guys, if you're new here uh, and you don't know what this spreadsheet is, these are the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. In the videos, uh, I showed myself buying up all of these coins. These were ones that I expected were going to make me a lot of money. If you'd have done the same, if you'd have put $100 into these coins when I released the videos uh, and then sold them after about 16, 17 months, your total profit from 100 into each would have been over 123 grand, which is not bad. Um, and in under a year and a half. Now, I don't share the coins I'm in on YouTube anymore. I do share them on my website, which is coppermycrypto.com, though. Uh, so if you were to join up today, you'd be able to see my entire portfolio. You'd also, and I give members updates on a regular basis. Whenever I find a coin that I think is going to make me good money, uh, I'm going to buy it, which means I tell my members about the coin that I'm going to buy, uh, the profits that I think that coin can have, the percentage of my cash I'm going to put in, uh, the price that I'm going to buy it at. Members can copy along exactly, which means they make the exact same profit, but they don't have to do any work at all. Um, I also tell my members when I sell the co my coins and at what price. So again, no work for the members at all. Uh, we've had the halving, probably got a bit of sideways action, a bit of downturn for a little bit. But after that, markets are going to run wild. So now's the time to actually sort your portfolio out. And if you haven't got around to doing that, or if you're not confident about yours, Read through copymycrypto.com, see what the members have earned. It's all public record because it's a service I'm sure will help you out. Now, Akala. So Akala launched at a pretty crappy time, you know, right at the end of the <coughs> bull cycle. And it really has never recovered. I mean, in this most recent bull cycle, it did go up to, like, in the one that we're in, it went up to about 20 cents, and that's from lows at points of, like, 4 cents or so. So it's not bad, it's not bad at all, but it's just not really been kicking on. Now, it's a liquidity layer, like they're, they're, they've built the liquidity layer for Web3 finance, that, and that's the idea, right? It's a hybrid of, um, of DeFi and uh, centralized finance solutions, um, and it also involves real world assets. The universal asset hub, is the uh, multi-chain liquid staking protocol. Uh, they have an AMM um, and they have an app platform that's Ethereum virtual machine compatible and customizable based on substrate. Uh, as a concept, really good concept. DeFi hub of Polkadot. Now, the problem is, while there are, you know, a couple hundred thousand account holders, we're not actually seeing tons of activity. Um, it's backed by good names as well, Polychain, Pantera, Jump, and Coinbase. Um, and there's a reason that those kind of places trust it or back it, you know. It's on uh, Binance, on all the big exchanges, except Coinbase. So that's one thing that it could get, could get that Coinbase listing, which would give it the bounce. Um, and where is it? Du, 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 we need the explorer. Where's the explorer? It's gone. Explorer. There we go. So if we have a look at Carla's explorer, we can see what's kind of cracking on at the moment. Um, so holders, two and total accounts, two hundred twenty-eight thousand. There are one hundred seventy-two thousand holders. Um, there's been five point, just shy of five point six million transfers, um, and if we have a look at sort of where things are at in terms of uh, transactions, we're not actually seeing tons. So, um, Carla dear has done ten thousand. Uh, 204 transactions from Akala to Moonbeam, from Moonbeam to Akala, 11,000, Akala to Unknown, 7,000, 7,000, 
So there's been a few transfers, kind of transactions, I suppose. Um, so active time, but that's over 715 days. So this isn't like a... Um, so those transactions are not over like a day. Um, if we check out volume as well on the daily, you know, there's a bit of a surge um, in volume there. Uh, but this is based on the native uh, token transfer value. So yeah, there was a bit of uh, volume, about 13 and a half million Akala at one point, which, you know, that's that's not bad. I mean, that's what is 11 cents a coin. So there's about 1.4 billion dollars, million dollars of move of a uh, volume there. But if we take a look over a one month window, um, as we can see, you know, there's a couple of surges here and there. But uh, generally, this is not a lot of volume. I mean, over the last week or two weeks, uh, the most we've seen is about 7.4 million um, in volume. Um, that is what, like a, again, it's about 700,000. So we're not seeing like huge volume coming through here. Yeah, there's a lot of holders, but how many of these holders were people that bought in really early doors um, when Akala launched as a big question. The apps themselves are very cool. The good apps, you know, you've got your staking, you've got your, so you can do your polka dot staking, you can bridge your asset to Akala. They've um, also got uh, Euphrates, which is where you stake LC dot and earn a total, you can earn total rewards of 5 million Akala and other project tokens. So it's a nice way to sort of get in on others. Staking wise, um, as you'll see, uh, so staking wise, if we throw in a number here, let's see if they actually give us some sort of update. Yeah, oh, fine. 200. Does it change anything? No, it doesn't. Okay, fine. Swap features are fine. Easy as everyone, like you'll have used these swap features before. Liquid staking wise, you can liquid stake Polkadot on a Carla. Gives you about 16% APY, which is pretty good. Um, not going to whinge at that, are you? Um, again, staking wise, obviously you can stake a Carla. Uh, you can also do liquidity pool staking. Um, just obviously understand your risks. If you're doing LP staking, you know, it means you've got two coins that you've provided liquidity for. So hence you've got risk of impermanent loss by doing so. Um, okay, interesting project. Interesting project. I, I quite like the fact that they've introduced NFTs within to the portfolio section of Akala. Um, but right now we're not seeing the volume in the Akala chain. That's an issue. That's a big issue. Look, as, as much as they have got a solid product here, people are not going. Now, this, when it launched, you know, basically launched at its high. It was about $3.10 is its all-time high. There, I, I think there's little to no chance that it's going to get back to $3.10. I think a big task right now is just to get to a dollar. Um... They've got to bring on new users. They've got to bring on users as much as possible. And like a proportion of what they have within the treasury has to go towards marketing. They've got to start getting people um, excited about this. And part of that is going to be the developments that happen, partnerships that are built. Um, but overall, they, I mean, the single biggest job is simply they have got to get people interested and in using Akala more and more and more. Because as of right now, there is just not enough daily usage here. And with such little daily usage, you've got to wonder um, if the interest like if if they're gonna be able to get the interest there. They've done um they actually uh reposted this about Carla's next upgrade, uh, which is the Sinai upgrade. Um so that would be another leap towards bringing the liquidity layer forward. 
Um, I mean, they've got a burn feature, which is good as well. I think there's a few things here that are really, really good. It's just, from my perspective, I just don't see a world where they're going to reach their previous high or, you know, I think $2 is kind of the max it can possibly hit. And that, but that's going to be based on bringing in a lot of users. And right now, the, the transactions just aren't there. You know, best, like the most volume that went over, through in the last couple of weeks has been about 7 mil. That's not a lot. It's a mil tokens as well. So it's only like 700,000 tokens based on current, $700,000 based on current price. So this isn't a chain that's being heavily used. And that's noticeable by the volume on the daily. That's about $5 million in terms of centralized exchange volume. So there's a lot of work here because this can push forward and this is a good project, but they've got to go heavy into marketing, heavy into advertising. People need to know about it because if people don't know about it, they're not going to use it. It's the very, it's again, it's the tree and falls in the forest analogy. You know, you can have the best tech in the world, but if no one knows about it, it doesn't matter. Um, and for price action here to improve, they got to get people using it because right now there's just not enough. There's just not enough for, for, it, for, for this to get back to like big numbers. I think a dollar is probably a fair, tar fair target. I think $2 is the max they do if marketing and advertising and everything is done well. But dollar, realistically, is probably what their target should be right now. Uh, and to be honest, from just a, a user-based perspective, their, their goal should just be build the users, try and double that user base in, and give yourself a time frame to do it and just market and advertise. Um, but let's see. Let's see if they do. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you're an Akala user, why do you think more people aren't using Akala? Is it just the terrible price action that's been seen from, since launch? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and guys, if you want to make the same profits as me in this bull cycle, you can do. All you have to do is head over to copymycrypto.com and join up. That is the site I run where I share my entire portfolio with my members. Anytime I find uh, cryptos that I'm going to add to my portfolio, I tell my members about the coin, the profits it can have, and the percentage of my cash I'm going to put in. And my members can copy along exactly. Um, it means they make the same profits. It means they have no work to do. If you go onto the site, you'll see what the members have earned. You'll see what I've said in the past. It's all public records, all historical record. You can verify it all. If your portfolio isn't sorted, now is actually the time to get it sorted. We've got a couple of weeks of probably market downturn before um, before things start kicking off again. So if you're not happy with your portfolio or uncertain or not confident, Read through the site because I'm sure it can help you out, guys. There's a link in the description. And that's it from me. Have a good day. Bye-bye.